Okay, we're back to fixing this again. Well, just got the parts in, so uh, we're going to change the brushes in the motor. Okay, the last video I, uh, I took the uh, the blower supercharger out of the vacuuming unit and I took one of the brushes out. Now this is the one I took out. It doesn't have much life left in it. Before getting started here I gotta put my uh, my doctor surgery gloves on. What's that doctor called again? Uh, surgeon dork. Surgeon. Okay, so this was... It's got black crap all over it. I cleaned it up as much as I could. <clears throat> this is... What the brush looks like I took out. I've only taken one out so far. This is what it's supposed to look like. They're on springs, so they bounce. I should just mention these took forever to get here. I guess they came all the way from Amazon. That must be a long ways away. Okay, so, removing this cover. I did that in the last episode. <clears throat> now it's been quite some time since I uh, did the last video on this. So I'm hoping that I can remember how this goes. It's not all that complicated, and I left the one side in just for that reason, so that if there's any problems, I can refer to it. But this is a little holder that, that holds it in place. Two Phillips screws, and the little holder is out. Now, If you can see this, there's a, a connecting thing here. It's a, it's like a little spade connector. And it is supposed to slide into this slot right here. Hopefully, in a perfect world, it will. I'm just using a flat screwdriver to pry it in. Okay, that did work. I would say that, that would go right there. Kind of seems like it almost like it fits there. Everything looks good. I guess I should also mention, when buying these things, they're not cheap, and they only come in, you have to order two of them. You can't order, it doesn't come as a pair, which is crazy. And they're about 23 bucks a piece, so they, by the time it gets to you, it's over 50 bucks for two of these things, and they look like little child's toys. Not impressed with the price. Okay. For those of you who don't know how electric motor works, um, it's magic. It's got something to do with the North and South Pole. I don't know. Another thing I should mention is when changing uh, when changing the brushes after you when you put the new brushes in, you're supposed to run the uh, the motor at half voltage uh, for I don't know, a certain amount of time. We're not doing that because, well, we have no way of doing that. I'm sure if you had a, a dimmer switch that is rated for motors, you could probably cut the voltage down in half. Or the only other way is if you have another motor exactly the same and you hook them both up in series, then that theoretically would cut the voltage in half, I believe. I don't know why you're supposed to do that kind of a break-in thing, I guess. I don't know, but we're not doing it. So let's just see what happens.
And check the spin. It seems to spin okay. Part two, putting her back in. Okay, there's a look in there, what it looks like empty. The only thing in there is really the circuit board, the fuse, a little light to tell you whether it's on or not. Uh, on off switch and here's where the power comes in these two here there's a transformer here that transforms those into low voltage for the switch to turn it on remotely and these three things here is where the wire that the springs that hold the whole unit in place the motor it's only held by three springs they right connected to those things now it can only go in one way because of the hole where it has to blow out If you've ever played the game Operation, this is much the same. Rehook up your hot wire and rehook up the neutral wire. One more wire. That's the ground wire. And what I need to do is get a very small socket to get a little nut off of there. Okay. It's all rewired, it's all put back in. If you've seen the previous video or you can go back to it, you will see that this was full of blue sparks, which was the sign that these uh, brushes were gone. So let's see what happens now. You're going to be the first to see it. Connecting these low voltage wires should Give us ignition. No more sparks, working fine. Well, it's all fixed. It's back under the house where it belongs, and it's uh, working fine. When I was working on it, it kind of got me to thinking. Uh, I'm sure some of you might remember before there was internet, before there was platforms like YouTube, doing stuff was a lot more difficult. You know, back then I just... Uh, when I didn't know how something worked, I just assumed it was magic. Uh, now with YouTube, even magic 
is possible. Thanks for watching, eh?